We all know the mantra, pay your dues and graduate from college, and you'll enjoy a successful career. So for some, the goal is a bachelor's degree. For others, it's a master's or advanced degree. There's an unspoken belief that the job market is just waiting for hordes of ambitious, eager young graduates to slide into high paying jobs in the corner office. But statistics tell a different story. How is it possible that both college graduates and unfilled job openings are both at record breaking highs? That seems very counterintuitive, but recently one in four employers have experienced losses in revenue as a result of not being able to fill those positions. They simply can't find applicants with the necessary skills required in today's workplace. This is known as the skills gap. In fact, 33% of university graduates hold jobs that do not require a degree. These underemployed workers have learned a very expensive lesson. You must have the technical and employable skills industry requires in order to compete for jobs within your chosen career. With rising education costs, mounting student debt, fierce competition for jobs, and the oversaturation of some academic majors in the workforce, sadly, many have begun to question the value of a college degree. Formal education is very important, but not every degree is a direct preparation for employment. Students and institutions are beginning to understand what employers have known all along, that a degree is one important milestone, but insufficient all on its own. The acquisition of skills that match today's job requirements are replacing the degree as the ticket to a self-sufficient future. So how do we shift from being degree focused to skills focused? First, we need a paradigm shift of choosing a career before choosing a college. We should no longer ask high school students, what college do you want to attend? Or what will be your major? Instead, we should help a young person by asking them, what career do you want to enter into? Followed by, what skills do you need to acquire? Only after students choose a broad career focus by working through a comprehensive and meaningful guidance process will they then be able to select the right post-secondary option for them. Next, the planning process continues by developing a skills-based education plan. This sounds easy enough, but it's a revolutionary approach. Our high schools and colleges must shift their focus from simply degree acquisition by taking a prescribed series of courses to promoting skills acquisition through varied learning opportunities. And not just any skills, but the skills that match those required for the chosen career path of the individual. A skills-based education plan illustrates that not all skills can be obtained inside a classroom, and it develops the habit of continuously identifying new skills in order to remain employable. In most fields, students will continue to seek formal degrees, but we also now have access to a growing range of flexible learning alternatives such as online courses, reading books by top experts, and video tutorials. Here's one example. If your career plan includes holding a political office, you might want to run for mayor of your city. The traditional path would be to focus on specific courses to earn a college degree in political science with a possible minor in communication. But does a high GPA mean you would be qualified to be the mayor? Of course not. The degree itself is important, but insufficient. Rather than approaching the question in the context of a traditional education plan, start by thinking about the skills one would need to become a successful elected official. One might need to learn public speaking and how to talk on camera through a Toastmasters program and understand government budgeting by interning for a city council member. Gaining experience in social branding would be helpful and that could be achieved through a marketing class at the community college. Managing volunteers door to door, collecting voter registrations would also be valuable experience. It would also be important to learn how to write solicitation letters and understand how to persuade others into action. So in addition to a traditional writing course, you might plan to volunteer for a charitable organization's fundraising campaign. Certainly the most successful politicians are not always the most academically knowledgeable. The most successful are those who have figured out how to hone multiple skills obtained in a variety of ways. We can take that same approach and apply it to all careers. There are many benefits to adopting skills-based education plans within our institutions. Counselors can become architects of human development rather than simply schedulers of classes. When liberal arts instructors connect the transferable skills taught in the real world, their courses become more relevant and therefore motivating. And students will graduate with the skills necessary to compete in today's job market, improving both the college's reputation and enrollments. 
A skills-based education plan, unique to the award-winning Get Focused, Stay Focused initiative, is necessary for anyone who wants to avoid the pitfalls of unemployment or underemployment after graduation. It puts a student's future in focus towards gaining the skills, aptitudes, and attitudes necessary to be competitive in today's job market. To learn more about effective student success programs and research, visit Get Focused, Stay Focused at getfocusedstayfocused.org.